Recording in progress. So we're going to our businesses develop customer loyalty. A business is likely to be more successful if it can persuade customers to keep returning. How can business develop customer loyalty? So for customer loyalty, it means customers continue to buy, come back and buy. That means customers continue to return mm -hmm. to buy the same product, the same the, to buy from the same product or to buy the same product or to buy from the same brand. That is customer loyalty. So what are the ways in which a business can you know improve its customer loyalty? One, communication. Communication means information, passing information. So a business must keep customers informed. In the mass market, this might involve using national advertising campaigns to tell customers about new products. So businesses may use reassuring adverts. This helps to convince customers that they have, they have made the right purchase. Some firms send out regular newsletters, usually by email, to keep customers up to date with company events. Regular com communications help to build relationship between the business and the customer. If a bond can be formed, customers are more likely to return. So the first way to, uh, to create uh, customer loyalty is through communication. Mm -hmm. When you are communicating with your, when you are informing your customers about new products, reassuring them about why it is still important for them to understand that you are the best in town, then the, emotionally they are with you. Yes. They will always be with you. So they wouldn't even think about customer, other competitors. So communication is key. So give them information that are strategic, give them information that are important about your product, about your service. So just like what I do every day, I post my videos, that's my YouTube, it's my account. But if for a few weeks or a few days I don't post, I don't share my links, I don't do anything, they will forget about me. Mm. So you need to keep your customers informed every now and then. That is how they get emotionally attached to you. You get customer reality there. Yeah. Two, awesome. customer service. That's important. So customers are more likely to return to a business if they receive highly quality customer service. Employees who interact with customers must be professional, professional, reliable, and conduct themselves honestly and sincerely. Customers, customer service can often be improved by dealing with matters more promptly, providing a more effective after-sales service, or making the purchasing experience a pleasant one. So business provide customers with refreshment while they are conducting the transaction. Yeah, let there be sweets, chocolates around, and, and that's not the only thing. Smile, on, smile at them, say thank you to them for patronizing us, let them have pleasant experience in your transaction. That would, the memory, the experience will stick with them. And every now and then, whenever they even don't want to come, that experience might make them to come. Mm. So that's customer loyalty. Yes. The third one, customer incentives. Many businesses reward their customers if they keep returning. For example, cafe chains and supermarkets use loyalty or reward cards. This gives customers discounts, cash vouchers, or free goods as reward for loyalty. Reward them. Mm. This is a sort of incentive. For always coming buy to buy financially reward them this can give them discount they feel valued and they wouldn't want to stop coming to you that is another way to build customer loyalty personalization some businesses try to deal with customers on a personal level they may address individual customer by their name perhaps in person or in letters some firms send customer birthday cards to help build relationships however dealing with the customer at a personal level is not easier for a smaller business than it's more is a lot easier for a smaller business than a multinational so send birthday cards, uh, congratulate them on their wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. no, these are know your customer ways. When you know your customer well, they, you create a bond and they will be happy with you. So the relationship will, they want the relationship to continue because they want the experience to continue. Yes. So that is the point. So, but it's for, this is good for business that are you know, small. For multinationals, it's difficult to personalize things, but you can still do it. Just by understanding, by having details of your customers. That is work of the customer service department. They have details of the customers. And even if it's just for the birthday, say happy birthday to them. Mm. You get to know, because the internet makes it easier. Say happy birthday to them via the email or whatever it is. It's always, you know, automated. Yeah. So you can have it there. So every month, it just go every birthday anniversary, just go to them. So this way, you are creating an experience that those customers would not want to stop. Because they know if they stop coming to you, that birthday present, that wish will not always come again. So they want it so-so because they feel valued. Mm. As a result, they want to continue transacting with you. Is it clear? Yes. Prevention treatment. Many people like the idea of receiving prevention treatment from a business. For example, give them VIP treatments. Mm. Oh, they usually come. Oh, sir, oh, you're on the queue. Yes, you can still be on the queue. Let me see what I can do easily. 
you don't do it at the detriment of your customers or the rest of the customers, but there's a way you can treat them and they feel value. They'll feel like, oh, I'm having the VIP treatment. Because you know them very well. You might not even allow them to come to the banking hall as a banker. Call them, oh, just put a call through to us. You need a certain amount of money. Yeah, we'll make it available. So just come at this present time, you get it, you meet it there. So give them prevention treatment. Mm -hmm. This experience will last longer. They wouldn't want to miss out on that. Is it clear? Yes. Is that all about it? Yes. So these are ways in which you as a business can develop customer loyalty. So that hence the topic of back, uh, marketing, objective and strategy.